Hello, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the world of messaging brokers, specifically comparing two heavyweights JMS and Kafka. Both are widely embraced by enterprises, but their functionalities differ. Let's unravel the distinctions in this article. Before we dive in, don't miss out on exciting job opportunities with the best software companies. Register now to explore top positions in the tech industry. Now, let's explore Apache Kafka, known as the open source data streaming platform. Apache Kafka is a game changer for businesses dealing with real time data. Offering real time pub slash sub solutions, Kafka establishes a reliable system capable of quickly routing data to multiple servers. It integrates seamlessly with technologies like yet another resource negotiator, YARN, Apache HBase, Apache Spark, and Apache Storm. Kafka's distributed nature employs multiple message brokers, balancing the load efficiently. Key Characteristics of Kafka Let's highlight some key characteristics of Kafka. High throughput, multiple client support, fault tolerance, real-time messaging, and being a distributed system. Use Cases of Kafka Kafka is trusted by industry giants like Twitter, Datasift, Square Company, and LinkedIn for stream processing real-time data monitoring, financial services, and more. Now, let's shift our focus to JMS, the Java API for enterprise messaging. Java Message Service, JMS, is a crucial API in Java Enterprise Edition, facilitating seamless information exchange between applications. It offers flexibility and simplicity, eliminating communication complexities. Key Characteristics of JMS Key characteristics of JMS include asynchronous and synchronous communication, support for two messaging models, point-to-point -point and pub-slash-sub, expressive message types, and messaging security. Use cases of JMS. JMS finds its applications in e-commerce for order processing, seamless data exchange between enterprise applications, and effective logistics coordination in the supply chain. Now, let's unravel the key differences between JMS and Kafka. JMS uses selectors for filtering, while Kafka utilizes Kafka Stream. JMS follows imperative programming with both asynchronous and synchronous operations, whereas Kafka adopts reactive programming with an asynchronous, data-driven architecture. More key differences. The format supported by JMS includes text and binary, requiring additional configuration for custom serialization. Kafka supports JSON, Avro, custom serialization, and deserialization. The routing system in JMS is complex, whereas Kafka's is simple and easy. Decision-making factors. Choosing between JMS and Kafka in 2024 depends on your specific use case. JMS is ideal for precise control over message ordering, while Kafka shines for real-time data streaming, event-driven architecture, and horizontal scaling of large data. JMS integrates well with Java frameworks, while Kafka seamlessly fits into a broader ecosystem with stream processing tools and connectors. In conclusion, whether you choose JMS or Kafka depends on your organization's needs and architectural requirements. Each has its strengths, so weigh your options wisely. Thank you for joining us today, and happy coding! For more enlightening reads, head over to our blog at olibr.com blog. And hey! If you're on the hunt for exciting job opportunities, jump over to olibr.com and sign up. Unearth your potential, ignite your passion. Join our vibrant community across LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Threads. Stay tuned for more exciting tech insights. Like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates. Until next time, keep innovating.